USA Water Polo's Olympic Development Program presented the 2009 ODP Holiday Camp this past weekend, December 17th through the 20th. The camp was held in beautiful Colorado Springs at the United States Olympic Committee's training facility. USOC opened their doors for 10 referees, 21 coaches, and 110 athletes, ranging from at least 12 years old or in the 8th grade. So the holiday camp is a 96 and under focus. Um, kids from, all, from the 96 and under age group have been invited to come here and participate. My job is to make sure that we're teaching ODP skills, mentoring coaches in the ODP, uh, in the ODP program. It's a great learning experience, a great mix of uh, getting not just different information, new information, but a different way of explaining things, which is always good for coaches and for players, athletes. Uh, it's a good way to get familiar with playing with other people from different zones and you know, getting out you know, to experience other things. The athletes had the chance to enjoy a college-like atmosphere as they stayed in the dorms, ate in the cafeteria, and even attended water polo lectures and training sessions to improve their game. The referees, coaches, and players were issued a holiday camp schedule, which they followed. We wake up at around 7. We go to breakfast. That's like it ends at 7.45. We go to a, either pool time or a lecture. The girls and boys are split. So when the girls are in the pool, the boys are in lecture and the other way around. And then we usually have like two, two, two hour, 30 minute practices a day and about three to four lectures. As you can see, these young athletes were busy from morning till night. The ODP's holiday camp allowed referees, coaches, and players to gain more knowledge on the sport. In years past, just the coaches and athletes were invited to the holiday camp, but this year brought something new. Very first year and uh, extremely excited about the concept. Um, we've got a small group, one referee from each zone. Uh, it's uh, been a fantastic learning opportunity for the referees and for me as well to help us go forward in, in training referees throughout the United States. I think it's a great opportunity for both coaches and referees to all from all around the country to get together and learn the system of play that the United States is, is working on and just kind of centralize and we want to grow as a unit of USA Water Polo, and this also includes the refs. You can't just have the players and the coaches grow and the refs just show up and be like, okay, I think that this is what we're supposed to be doing. We want to be a unit in USA Water Polo, and that's what this whole program is about. After three days of intense lectures and training sessions, the campers were ready to use their knowledge as they participated in the Snowball Classic. The Snowball Classic took place on the last day of camp. It was a way for the referees, coaches, and athletes to come together to show what each of them learned from the lectures and training sessions. Three intense water polo games at a time were being played while four other teams patiently awaited their turn to participate in the Snowball Classic. After talking with some of the referees, coaches, and players, all found it beneficial. I think it's been great for the ODP program to put on the holiday camp. Uh, I, I think that, like I said, colla the collaboration of coaches, athletes, and officials um, is very beneficial for our sport and for USA Water Polo to help start implementing this national system of play that's only going to make uh, our teams better and hopefully uh, lead to a lot of success in the future for our country and our national teams.